What is up guys, it's your boy, it's Lightning, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be playing some more Subnautica. In the last video, we did get a distress signal going coming from Life Pod 3, but as I opened up Subnautica, I had another distress call coming from Life Pod 17, and we're going to replay that real quick. It is, I think, this one. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by this Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. So the stress signal call ends right there. So we're going to check out both pods today, and we're going to see if we can make a little bit more advancement into the game. We are um, watching the Aurora's Drive Corps because it did tell us to watch that in the last episode. But before we start that, if you guys do enjoy this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this and more content on my channel. Comment down below what we should do in Subnautica and how you guys do enjoy this game and the series that I am giving to you guys. So let's hop right into the video. So as I said in the last video, we did get the Sea Glide. Um, we got a lot of things actually. We discovered a lot of things. But... But um, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to check out this distress signal. It's not too far away. So, luckily, there's people here. Or... Well... That... I guess they're dead. <laughs> I, I mean, that's all we could really say. Is they're just gone. Well, that's a straight bummer. I wish we could could have made friends. All right, since Life Pod Three is just gone, let's hope we have some luck at Life Pod Seventeen. So it looks like we are getting somewhere with all these fragments. What I do want to do is I do want to get more oxygen. This is, I just hate this biome. I hate it. This is just creepy to me. So, this does look like a new biome. Oh, I can see the life pod already. Looks like. Unknown environmental biome. Okay. So, this is a Seamoth fragment. It's a sea moth. Okay, so we got a fragment, and it doesn't seem that Life Pod 17 has survived either. Um, is the other fragment here? Whoa, okay. So there's also a shipwreck, or crash site maybe. Some more oh, there it is. I found you. These are called reef backs, I think. And they have, uh, I think they have this break barnacle. They either produce copper or silver. We do need a lot of silver. So it looks like that one already only had one, but I do want to find, oh, okay. There's more debris. Let's see if we can find anything from here. A time capsule. There's a time capsule. Open time capsule. What did this give me? What did this give me? It gave me a thermo blade and copper. A thermo blade. Hold on. Detonation? Wait, so the whole ship's gonna blow up? Oh no. Okay, let's let's finish let's finish our exhibition and let's get back to base. See if we can find anything we can scan. I wanna scan as much things as possible. We found a bioreactor fragment. So this is new. This is something new. 
We only need two fragments of that. And I think here's the other fragment here. Alright, we found, we just learned a blueprint to a bioreactor. But I want to finish finding the sea moth. Uh, I want to finish finding the sea moth fragment. Let's look over here. I think this is one right here. No, that's another bio. Oh, sea moth fragment right here. All right. So we just learned the blueprint to the sea moth. I'm gonna take this for extra titanium. Um, let's go for air, because we definitely need air. I do want to make it back before this quantum detonation of the Aurora. Um, any f mobile beacon fragments down here, maybe? With my luck? Yes? Yes, all right. So now we are able to make the mobile vehicle bay. Okay. So that means we can go on with a good note. We can make our own vehicles. I don't know what vehicles we can make. But we do need to make a battery because I see at the bottom we are getting low for our um, sea glide. Let's hop over here. The one thing I do want to make in this video is a habitat builder, because I think that's what we can use to make our own base. So as we come back, we can see that we have another radio message. So let's play that. This is Avery Quinn, training ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Enough of the vacuum. These Altera ships, they run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay, so I think someone's gonna come pick us up sooner. I remember in the last video we did, they said that we, it was gonna take more than 999 hours, just a long time, basically, to say that. But we did get a pastel ingot um, and a laser cutter. And then we also have a mobile vehicle bay. So we need a lithium ingot, I mean a titanium ingot, sorry, lubricant and a power cell. I think we can make a titanium we can get already. All we need is a lubricant and a power cell. So, go to electronics, power cell. We need two batteries and silicone rubber. And we also need, I think it said lubricant. So that means we need the creep vine down here. So we need more of you. Okay, I only took two. I have a lot of food, by the way. I'm not trying to starve myself. But I also have a lot of water. I I meant water, not food. I'm sorry. <laughs> but speaking of water, let's drink up on some. I'm going to waste the no filtered water instead of the disinfected. Because filtered takes less. So what did we need to make it? We need power cell batteries oh, I don't have acid mushrooms okay let's go get that real quick I think those are the just a couple mushrooms just sitting around everywhere yeah then let's make silicone rubber and then let's make lubricant then let's make a power cell I think we can make our mobile vehicle bay. Yes, we can. There we go. That's so cool how it just crafts on the table. So while we're at it, we are going to cook all this food I have. To box. Release mobile. Re release vehicle bay. Okay. So what does this do? 
climb on it. Use vehicle bay. Vehicles. Oh, so a sea moth is a vehicle. Okay. So a one person sea and space vehicle. Hmm, okay. So we need a titanium ingot, another power cell, one more glass, lubricant, and lead. We already have lead, and that's because we got all those materials while we were uh, farming for, I think, titanium last video. I don't think it follows me if I'm too fast. A what? Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it's happening. Yo, is it actually like, the, is the whole thing gonna blow? Oh my gosh. Plus you can hear the the radiation noise. Oh, the front is gone. Okay, so it's just gave me a new blueprint, so let's check that out. The radiation shoot fiber, mesh, and lead. How much lead do we have? Because we need one. Okay, so we can go get fiber mesh right now. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad how many of you? I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Wow. So he was being cocky in the beginning, thinking that we were just sending SOS just to be BSing. And now once he once he saw that we actually died, except for me, he's like, ah, it's just, it's just, ah. We need one more titanium. I think I can take up this metal scrap right here. Yes, I can. So let's craft everything that we need. Silicone rubber, lubricant, and so let's make the radiation suit. Because I'm guessing we're gonna have to go to the Aurora, maybe. That's why I'm guessing. Okay, let's let's equip this. Let's put the rebreather in here. And I think we have everything we need. We need glass. I forgot about that. We need glass. I think we need two quarts. That's the one thing we missed is we need two quarts. So I'm going to cut back. So editing me is going to cut to when we already got the quarts. So just to, just to save you guys the time of me searching for quartz, I'm gonna, editing me is just gonna cut right to when we're about to craft it, so. So now we have everything that we need. We can make the glass. And I think, to my ability, I think that's it. We, we do have the power cell. I do remember making that. So let's go here and let's make our sea moth. Yes. Is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, so it looks like we do have a new vehicle. This is the Sea Moth. So let's hop in. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right. So with this, we can go to. Ooh, I think yes, we can go to a depth of 200. That's what it says at the top. So we're gonna explore, it does have floodlights. We're gonna explore a little bit. I kinda wanna get closer to the Aurora, but we are gonna look for more things to scan actually. 
Because I know there's a couple more things that I should be trying to find. Is that... Is that a tr... No way, that's a... That's a forklift! Whoa, 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 chill out, chill out. Wait, why does he have green spots on him? The other one didn't. That's weird. Why does he have green spots? Is he infected with something? Okay, how do I... Oh. Okay, there we go. Listen, bud, if you don't... Get, get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me! That's a sand shark. Get away from me! Get away! Oh my god. You're on the crystal meth. Like, please stay off. Alright. So we can get out and we can see all the blueprints that we do have able... We are able to make. I think. So we're gonna make a wiring kit. Then we need copper wire. We also need, I think, yes, we need a computer chip, which we need two table coral samples. I think I know where that is. I think that is these red things over here, because I saw them earlier. Yes, they are. Okay, so we need some calories. Is it telling us to be fat? So let's make this computer chip first, then we'll eat. I have my priorities straight. Advanced wiring kit. So consume and eat. Consume. There we go. So we have an advanced wiring kit. What was I making again? Oh yeah, the habitat builder. Okay. So we also need a battery. We need copper and mushrooms. So I'm going to put the diamond and the lithium in there just for safekeeping. I'm going to drop this because we don't need it. So copper and a mush mushrooms. Okay, we found our copper ore. Let's head back. Wait, let's make sure. Okay, yes, we found our copper ore and we are coming back to make the battery. So we just have the habitat builder. I'm gonna build it in this open area right here. So, oh, okay. So it looks like we have, here's the moon pool. A titanium ingot, oh my gosh. I think this is our power supply maybe? Bioreactor. See, this is appliances. So let's start off with just, I kinda wanna start off with a moon pool. Okay, so it looks like I can make this wherever I want. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more out because it does look like it has a docking bay. This might be used for my Seamoth. So I kinda wanna put it, just put it right here. Oh, oh, oh I have to left click I think. Oh no, I have to press E. So now we're constructing it. Okay. Okay, so let's let's see. Let's see if it docks my Seamoth. Because if it does, that's gonna be cool. I think it does. It doesn't. But the Seamoth fits. It it literally fits. What is this used for then? Animate object. Okay, so two things like just happened. I don't even know what happened. But 
I'm so confused. It said I needed power. So wait, do we have to power this thing? Oh my gosh, bro. Okay, what can we use to power? We have solar panels. Quartz and copper ore. Oh my gosh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back, guys. I'm right. Put this on here. Construct. And it's gonna give me power, right? Yeah. Okay, so now let's try it. Yeah, there we go. The Seamoth. Okay, let's go. So this is a docking bay for the Seamoth. So how much titanium do I have? I have two titanium. Do I have enough? I have enough to branch out one time. So I am going to branch out. So I'm going to branch out, I think. No, no, no. I'm going to branch out right over here. Yeah. Oh. Branch out right here. There we go. So then that should make it to where I can come over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So. Can I make a fabricator in here? Of course, I need titanium. And build ourselves a fabricator. I need to make some food real quick before I die. Oh my gosh, making food takes power? That's so dumb. Okay, this is the last thing I'm gonna make. And then I'm gonna eat it all. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna make another solar panel. If I can. Oh my god, I need one more titanium, bro. <laughs> You're joking me. Over here. Boom, and then construct. So this is gonna give me two times the power. So how much power are we at right now? We are at still four, but out of 150. All right, cool. This is unpowered, that's fun. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be a good stopping place for today's video. If you guys do enjoy this video, please hit the like button, subscribe today, see more videos like this. Comment down below what y'all thought about today's video and what y'all want me to do into the next Subnautica video because I really don't know what to do. I think their story with this game, I don't know. But if you guys do enjoy my content on my channel and you guys wanna see more, make sure to subscribe we are so close to 300 subscribers we are like four uh maybe 37 away it would be a big thank you to get to three 300 subscribers before the summer and with that out of the way i'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>